All right, in the next example, we're not going to find a z-score. We're going to use z-scores to find a data value. So in this case, we're going to use it to find x. So athletes should replace their running shoes before shoes lose their ability to absorb shock. Running shoes lose their shock absorption after a mean distance of 640 kilometers and a standard deviation of 160 kilometers. And we're told Zach is an elite runner and wants to replace your shoes at a distance when only 25% of people would replace your shoes. What distance should he replace his shoes? So here we're asked to find that distance. We're not given the x value. So we're given the mu, the mean, 640. We're given the standard deviation. 60 kilometers we don't have X we don't have the data value and at this point right now we don't have a Z score but we can't find it without having to do any calculations so if you don't have a bell shaped curve or a normal curve sketch one and that's how you should begin these problems having a sketch of the curve remembering that your mean use in the middle. So we have 640 kilometers here. Now we're given the percentage. We're told when 25% of the people would replace your shoes. Now that will be below the mean. So here So it went up to 25% of the people. Keep in mind that the mean would represent the 50% the mark. So here, this would represent the 50% mark. From here to there is when most people would replace their shoes at 640 kilometers. Zach wants to replace his at the 25% mark at this point here. So we need to find this x value. Since we know the percentage, we can look to our z table to find our z score. And if we look through our percentages, we're looking for, remember, 25% is 0.25. So we have 0.2266. Keep looking through, and we'll get as close as possible, 0.25. Here. So I'm going to work this in reverse now. So I'll look back and I'm going to have negative 0 decimal 6. And I'm looking up. Zero decimal zero seven. So our answer will be negative zero decimal. Six seven. So our z score is negative zero decimal six seven. Now we're going to fill this into our equation. Remember our equation is x minus mu divided by the standard deviation. Now we fill in the numbers that we know. We know our z score. don't know x. We know our mean and we know mu is 160. Now we will cross multiply here. And we should get negative Eight. So again, we cross multiply there. And this will be over one, so one times. We can change what we have. That would stay the same. We now bring the 640 across. So 
here. X would equal negative 108 plus 6, oops, plus 640. I'll make this look like an 8. And we will get a distance of 532 kilometers. So when most people have worn the shoes for 532 kilometers, that's when Zach's going to replace his. Because only 25% of the population would replace their shoes at that point.